Welcome back to Data Plays. This is episode 97 of Sky Factory 3. So, yes, yes, we finally got a sheep. The sheep bait actually did work. I'm going to put another one down before we get started. But anyway, last episode was a big one. We actually got our super freaking farm down there, like the Wither Farm, Automatic Killing, all done and complete. We gave it a test run and she worked freaking brilliantly. The freaking little, she goes like a, oh, it's perfect. Go watch previous episode. If you don't know what's going on, far out, you've got to watch that. It's bloody awesome. But today we're going to try automate it a little bit after I put a bit more wheat, uh, uh, another sheep bait down to try and get a partner for our little sheep here, which would be actually lovely. And obviously you're not going to give me a bit of wheat, are you, you stupid thing? Boom. Alright, grab you, throw you in here, Bob's your uncle, sheep bait, hoping to put another one down and just get a partner for this guy. Boom. No, apparently an animals are shy, there's too many of them here. Okay, take it back, boom. Perfect, that one worked. I don't know. Must have been too close to the chickens over here. So, I guess around here, absolutely perfect. But you are going to be perfect for what we're going to need. Alright, so... Let's disappear down here real quick. Oh, better eat an apple. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, what we need for automation. Let's talk automation. This is exactly why I made it three high, by the way. So let's turn it all off. Switch off all the fans here. There we go, so we don't get just blown away. But if we put a T-shape in here... With places, that's right, places, which are pretty cheap, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, yeah. So we'll get some places to go together. Yeah, basic coil, black, oh, the black quartz. Where do you come from, Mr. Black Quartz? Uh, bags and furnaces, crushed quartz, uh, oh, struth, oh, shifting heavy stuff. All right, we're going to have to get some quartz together. I'm pretty sure we could probably find some down in the deep dark. Not a big deal at the end of the day. If I have to shift soul sand, I have to shift soul sand because they're the only two that comes from it. Okay. All right. So we'll build a few of the places, which we're going to need a lot of places. So a T-shaped in places. And then up, t up the top, which is three high, put a row of places up there. Because if you put them too close together, it will actually replace the bottom row of... Um, uh, what's it called? Which is obviously not good. So that's all going to come together nicely. I just got to find some black quartz, which I am not 100% sure where we're going to find any, if we can find any, because I know I had some at some point in time. What the hell are you? Mini charcoal. Yeah, I knew I had some at some point in time. I just I have no bloody clue at this point in time. That's okay. We will sift freaking soul sand if we have to which is just over here laser beam of doom all right well i will be back soon i've got to hunt down either black quartz which i probably do have some all right right there all right oh well, that makes a hell of a lot easier because i only need one but i need a bunch of these basic coils which i need the red stuff which is just redstone zapped so we could get um, a few stacks of do I have redstone blocks laying around? That would be much appreciated. Actually, we'll just do the whole um, single stack thing. Oh, I have plenty on me anyway. All right, so we'll do the whole single stack thing. We're going to need some of these lasers shortly. We need to start producing soul sand. And soul sand... Oh, soul sand, if I could do this, comes from... Obviously shooting sand with the laser beam here. Here we go. Well, that makes it a hell of a lot easier. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Got a basic coil. So, guys, I will be back soon. I'm not going to bore you too much with the crafting here. I'll get this crafted up. A bunch of these guys and a bunch of breakers as well. So, I will be back. Alrighty then, guys. I am back. Now, I've gone ahead and made all the stuff I need. Probably a little too much. I have auto breakers and auto places and whoopsie daisy. I was going to make a timer. I haven't done that yet for the setup. So, because we need to obviously start thinking about automating soul sand, like tons of it, real quick. Like, and it should be relatively quite easy. I've got an atomic, uh, dropper which is just a dropper that drops at an alarming rate and i've got the freaking obviously atomic reconstruction which is the laser we got to shoot at it now the auto places were 
for in here. So we'll go in and uh, break in here real quick and just place those in there. Get all that all snug fitting. Make sure it does. Boom, 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 boom. And the three along the top. So these guys will place the skulls. These guys will be placing the soul sand. Pretty basic stuff, I think. Pretty basic stuff. So now we need to get out of here. Let's just do this for now. Remind me to put the uh, bottom back on because that would be a disaster. They can actually... Withers can actually fit a, through a one-by-one one gap. They can, they will float down through that, which would be a, not a good thing, if you ask me. Okay, so obviously the Atomic Reconstructor will put that bad boy probably... We'll just plump it straight down, like in the ground, like legit, just, choo, there we go. She's full and everything, which is obviously fantastic. Uh, I don't have a redstone torch. Hang on a sec. Get a redstone torch real quick so we can uh, turn it into toggle mode, which we're going to need for this build. Toggle, 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 toggle. Where are you, Mr. Freaking? Oh, str what did I just throw at? Oh, whatever. Uh, it's always the case, isn't it? Bloody stroof. I just cleaned out my inventory and everything. Like, yeah, super fresh inventory. All right. We will plump, get some of the, just one. I Just two of them. That's fine. All right. All right. What, really? Two of them. There we go. Oh, I am just hopeless today. There. Freaking struth. I just wanted a couple of sticks. That's it. A couple of bloody sticks at the end of the day. There, got some torches. Far out. Alright, now that should allow us to turn the Atomic Reconstructor into... Just right-click on it, but with a redstone. Um, there we go. So, it's in pulse mode, which means it needs a redstone signal to activate, which we're going to need very shortly. Um, Alright. Okay, so then we got the dropper here, which is quite relatively cheap to make. As you can see, just a dropper. There you go. Really, really, really cheap to make. We should be able to plump that bad boy down. Should we hang it off the edge, maybe, to hide some of the stuff like that? See, and just a quick test. Watch this. Boom. So that will be sand dropping. I'm taking everybody's advice because originally everybody, everybody kept screaming at me a long, long time ago to... Um, to you know put entire stacks of stuff like like that on top of it like so um and be it's better than placing solid blocks because it, they can only do those two solid blocks right well guess what it can do ah entire stacks which is going to be bloody brilliant so i've learned my lesson and we'll go that way so all we need now is sand and it automatically pulsing every set period of time um Actually, actually, we could probably, we'll make one of these pulse timers real quick, which is just polish, smooth stone, yep, stone, torches, that's what we got torches for, and then a clock, a clock, we can, we can make one of these real quick, up, 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 okay, all right, you know what's going to be a pain is when we move everything inside, we're going to have to go inside every time to make, not this little, little crafting platform we got, we got going here. Uh, which is going to kind of suck a lot. Um, do we have any gold left over? No, we don't. Uh, pop some of those bad boys on. There we go. A whole stack of freaking what's it called? It's rumming right up. Bing, 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 bing. Don't need too many of those. And it's just... Get a clock. Uh, just quickly grab uh, some stone. And there you go. Bob's your blimmin' uncle. Got ourselves a timer. All right. That's all I wanted. Down we go. Got to be careful also, guys. Remember I told you, when spawning the these um, the withers, they are attracted to endermen. So they will literally fight against and shoot. You know, that is not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Okay, so what we might have to do is build it one down or hide it. I think we might hide, try to hide the uh, redstone here underneath the floor with a couple of smooth stone blocks. Um... All right, down we go. Well, maybe we should get some actual wood wood. Uh, boom, boom. We'll change these out with a swapper, which is going to be quite easy. Whoopsie daisy. There. Okay, so if I did... Um, if I did this here, plomp on the timer there, it should go off. Nam, boom. Oh, it's not powering the block. I really thought 
this guy here would power this block, which obviously would you know turn the turn the freaking what's he on and off. But that is not the ca that's not the freaking case. No, no. Okay, leave that alone for now. All right, we need a vac chest. Oh, sorry, guys, just all over the place today. Vac chest. All right. So a vac chest can also be controlled with redstone signal. Maybe we should be using a vac chest to control redstone. All right, I've got a different idea. Screw it. Why don't we do this? Oh, did I just lose me? <laughs> it's not my bloody day. But anyway, I was going to say, you can control... Oh, there it is. You can control, which we, do, we can shorten the range to say two. One. There. Shorten the range to one. Maybe two, just in case. Tell it red to activate with a redstone signal, which is this guy here. So what we'll do is just say, okay, so that's two seconds in it. We can plomp the ticket, and then it gets sucked up after a set period of time. Ah, that should be quite simple, eh? So if sand, give me this back, sand will be going in onto that platform. The laser will shoot off. The, the vac chest should suck it up. And if not... If we grab the conduit back, which we should have 46 of them in here, conduit, and just sort of tell it to go back in on itself. So we tell it, we say, extract, yes, no problem, and insert, no problem. Oh, crikey. It's going to go on a loop. No, it's going to go on the loop. But if we go grab some filters and we tell it to just insert sand back in, so say the unprocessed sand that gets sucked in by mistake yeah, it gets, you know, cycled back through the system. So that should be relatively quite simple to do. We'll bring the whole stack down there. So that should be relatively quite simple to do. So what we do is just plomp a filter on this bad boy just to say, hey, I want sand going in there. And a priority of like five. So sand only will be going in to the chest, which I don't have any sand at this time to test this with. So we need to go grab a bit of sand, which we got sand chickens. So technically it's going to be powered fully by chickens. All right, let's go test this out and see if this is actually going to work like I think it's going to work. So add the filter. So only sand gets inserted in there. And then everything else that gets in here, which obviously will be just soul sand, will obviously go over here in a round robin system. You get it? See? Got it. Got it. Good, good, good. So if we throw that there, we um, turn toggle this on. Boom. See what I mean? Sucks up. Boom. Sucks up. So the sand's going back into itself constantly. Ah, see? We're doing mass amounts of soul sand at the same time. But for some reason, it's not doing any more. Is that the case? It's not doing any more than 14. What is going on here? Oh, no, no power. Not enough power to convert these guys. Ah, oh, I was just thinking to myself, what the blooming hell? That kind of sucks. So what we actually need now is we need to go up and we need to find, um, what's it called? We need to find ourselves, if we come in here real quick, where do we put them, guys? I freaking don't bloody know. Right here. Receives energy. We'll bring down the stack. Just in case we need it for something else. Alright. So we'll hook this in. We don't need the timer for anything else. I thought we'll need the timer for, for other things. But hey, we don't need all this crap down the bottom. Gone, 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 gone. Place it there. Tell it to get a solar network, please. There we go. 100%. Whew. All right, so we, I think we should increase the range because it's not sucking up those, but there you go. We'll increase the range to three. Hopefully getting everything. I think we're getting everything. She's just sort of exploding. We put a stack in there, so eventually we should have a stack left unless we've lost some off the edge here. Not sure. Need some more blue wood. I need blue wood, please. Wow, what's with the frame droppage? All right, I needed to chop down this tree. Boom. Thank you. I've got nasty frame drop right now. I don't know where that's freaking coming from. Um, blue wood, please. That's what I come for. Yeah, what's going on? Where is this freaking frame drop? 
Is there like mobs stuck jammed or is there something going on? Is there loot looting up? Like, okay, that's continuously going up. That's not a problem. Yeah, no, that's running. Far out. There was literally something like my frames dropped and usually it ends up being something nasty. Okay, a whole 64 stack, guys. It converted the stacks, no problem. So now we just sort of got to extract that bad boy, which I want to run underneath because this is, I'm trying to keep the platform nice. So we'll come in here. I've got to break the glass here. And what we'll do, obviously, hook these all up. Can we move? Uh, we'll go straight down underneath here, literally. Um, bomb just for, you know, pretty looking. Go beside here and just sort of go straight under here because eventually remember where the pads are going to be two or three thick eventually so we're going to hide a lot of the uh the what's them call it and straight underneath here so break this and we'll tell it to just extract please um just extract soul sand that's all i want coming through this line there we go place that back so we're just saying extract just soul sand and we want round robin enabled there so that should be draining out or not what's going on here why aren't you draining out soul sand is in there oh oh okay there's nowhere for it to go my bad so insert 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 and insert so round robin should mean exactly that it randomly chooses one which it has done <sighs> let's leave a fan on just in case we do a whoopsie daisy <laughs> that would be freaking d terrible okay so to be honest I, we need to enclose this i don't have anything to enclose it with actually yes i do relax stay calm there we go we can sort of enclose it that's what I was thinking. And put some blue bloody wood back down here. So they sort of, it sort of maybe put some glass in here. Make it look a bit prettier. There we go. Just run it straight over the top. There we go. Boom. Put some glass in there, I think. I should have made it one higher. There, so it's not spitting out everywhere. Okay, so now we just need sand to run down to that and feed constantly sand. And then obviously, yeah. So that's brilliant. I think we'll put the timer for this guy at 200 okay 200 is around five seconds so it should we want it to drop nearly an entire stack at a time that'd be freaking awesome um okay so round robin it did yes it did okay so for the skulls well duh that's going to be relatively quite easy we could go straight up there yeah we could go straight up we need wireless we need um What's he wireless transfer for, for yeah we need wireless we might we might think about looking into that to be honest because um connecting top from bottom is actually quite the run and i don't really want to do that so we might start thinking about uh, transferring items over long distances uh, using a what's chest or um uh, what's it called the color coded ones they they work brilliantly they work brilliantly too so we might think about doing that save us a freaking bunch of headaches running lines everywhere but we will add all right we'll put this rest of this sand in here you go i got more sand for you yeah that's not quite a stack hasn't sucked it up yet Really, it didn't suck that bit up. So it pulses, which is quite cool. See? It's dr the, yeah, that's brilliant. That's working completely fine. Our, our, our sand converter mini compact one is working freaking brilliantly. Okay, so how's that splitting up anyway? All right, so what we'll do is, I'll, oh, I want another one of these for the top part now the reason why i want we'll probably come one back it's probably a better idea put one right there just running straight into the block so we'll make another one of those really quickly because i want it on a timer because it will instantly place and break and i don't want that so we'll quickly make us 
some oh, more gold, really? I should have tons of it. Now I do. Grab some freaking smooth stone. Bob's your bloomin' uncle. There we go. And boom. All right, we got another one. Okay. So we'll grab a stack of skulls because we're, we're just about to do a rapid test. I am 100% serious. One rapid test is going to be coming up shortly. We're not fully done yet, but but we need to do this test. All right, boom, boom, boom. Um, that should, oh, unless we do it at the top, we're going to get rid of this fan here, boom. I'm going to do it up the top. There we go, and boom, 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 across the top. Just say insert, insert, and insert. Break these guys down here. All right, we only need one. That's right, we only need one controlled by this guy here. We'll say 200 ticks just for te temporarily, and we can adjust from there. Boom. All right, so which is seven seconds. So let's go ahead and break the skulls up here, which we can get into. What's we call it? All right, fan is on. Activating force field. That is at full power, just in case. Here we go. Fans are on. Two fans are on. Check, check. All right, placing 32 in the middle here. 16 here. 16 here. All right, boom, 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 boom. Uh oh. I think I'm... Oh, crikey, I forgot to put the freaking redstone mode. Hang on, hang on. Boom. There we go. Holy smokes, how many of them are there? Uh-oh. <laughs> Definitely uh-oh. Look at them all. woo -hoo! That is an awesome system. All the wizards are dying away. Who's letting off all that TNT? Okay, so I need to break... Let this continue working on this way, and then play one of the skulls. Yeah. Alright. So one of the skulls is now broken, and now it's on a timer. Okay, you see that it instantly places, the middle does not instantly place. Wow, right. So, every seven seconds is a wither. Ouch. There's a wither every seven seconds. Four. They're going really, really well. I don't, I think... For some reason, the items are being pushed out. Right, you need to slow down. And if we want to turn up the rate, which will be easy, we could just turn it down to uh, literally 100. Done. And watch this. Boom. 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 Look at that. Absolutely freaking nuts. <laughs> That's freaking brilliant! Look at it go! Oh, Stroop, I'm so sorry about the noise. Wow! Alright, stop, 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 stop. Break this. Break that for now. Holy Stroop. There is a lot of freaking things in there. There's, they, can't, they can't have any. Ow! There's even more blowing up. That is nuts! This thing works brilliantly! Absolutely stunningly brilliant! Rocky. Sorry, I'm just blown away that this thing just works so well. We're not going to have to worry. Alright, so we need just sand feeding into there, and then we need skulls feeding from the farm down here, and then it's completely 100% automatic. Now, how did all... 9 stars so far, 20 superior essences. Oh, there's a star in there, ouch. There's a star up there, so we've got to fix the loot the loot systems up, but it worked freaking brilliantly. Can I have this back? I was waiting, because I'm scared that they're going to target me. Like, since they can't target me straight through the glass, but they could target me like this. They could shoot those stupid things at me, and I don't want that. So, we'll put this up here for now, not turn that on. Stroth. Bloody brilliant. Alright, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it now. This was this has been a blast, but uh, thanks for watching episode 97 of Sky Factory 3. Don't forget, you should you guys should know the drill already. If you're enjoying the content, you know, smash all those buttons, give it a like, dislike. Uh, you know, if you didn't like the episode, dislike the episode, that's fine. Um, leave a comment below, even if it's a high data. And if you're enjoying the series, 
don't forget to grab the link and post it on your favorite social media to see if we can attract some more attention. That would be lovely. And I'll catch you all later.